everyone, my name is Chloé de Bizerre and I work for WCS Canada as the technical coordinator for the Key Biodiversity Area program. In this role, I build tools and run analyses, mostly in the R programming language. These tools support the work of identifying Canada's crucial places for nature. Hi everyone, my name is Angela. I work for WCS Canada as the Key Biodiversity Areas quality control coordinator. So I work on the Key Biodiversity Areas Canada project and I help ensure the consistency of our site proposals and I help coordinate the review process. Hi everyone, my name is Laura McCaw and I work for WCS Canada as a Wolverine Research Associate. In this role, I conducted Wolverine field work in Northwestern Ontario and I currently study Wolverine biology and physiology through biological samples and GPS data. Quay. Deloise Cheyenne McDonald. I'm a Mi'kmaq woman and I work for WCS Canada as the Indigenous Relations Associate. WCS Canada recognizes the importance of respectful and equitable conservation partnerships with Indigenous peoples as an explicit part of our strategic goal. WCS Canada's Indigenous Communities and Conservation Program advances the capacity of WCS Canada and partners to support Indigenous-led conservation in meaningful ways that support inherent rights of Indigenous peoples and communities. In my role, I support effective and meaningful conservation outcomes through the development of research, tools, and strategies that develop respectful relationships with Indigenous peoples and advance Indigenous-led conservation in Canada. I also support WCS Canada's field programs and national initiatives in designing, implementing, and evaluating priorities to support Indigenous-led conservation. Personally, my passion for nature really started on mountain hikes. I grew up close to the Pyrenees Mountains in southern France. Today, I live in Montreal and I still absolutely love mountains and hills, in particular our beautiful Mont Royal Park that we're very lucky to have in the heart of the city. My passion for conservation started with watching nature documentaries growing up and just being absolutely captivated by all the unique species and ecosystems out there. I am passionate for the conservation of Canadian mammals, which started my childhood spent in nature, as well as with my grandfather, who was a wildlife photographer. This passion was solidified in university through a variety of field work and lab work experiences on many species. My passion for wildlife and wilderness started as a child catching frogs and catfish as well as playing hosts within the woods nearby my childhood home. I feel honored to be able to contribute to maintaining biodiversity and sustaining nature for our future generations. To women and girls pursuing careers in science, I would say this. There continue to be, unfortunately, many barriers to the advancement of women and girls in science. Still, my advice to them would be no different from what I would say to anybody else. Be curious, because that's at the root of all scientific endeavor. Know yourself so you can leverage your strengths and understand your challenges. Have fun, that's when you'll do your best work. And thank you for your contributions to science. My advice to women and girls pursuing a career in science is to always advocate for yourself, believe in yourself, and don't be afraid to share your ideas. My advice to women and girls pursuing or wanting to pursue a career in science is to embrace new experiences and connections and not to be afraid to reach out or ask about opportunities. My advice to all women and girls out there wanting or currently pursuing a career in this field is to follow your path to do what you love so your work does not feel like a job. <laughs>